Hi guys, welcome to Tekken. You get quality tech information. Please remember to like, subscribe, share, and comment. Thank you. Fiti. Fiti. When you sing, you begin with Do, Re, Mi. Do, Do. Re, Mi. Do, Re, Mi. Do, Do. Re, What's up guys, only the tech guy here. Welcome to yet another great, amazing video. I wanna make a shout out to some of the people that have made the intro for this video, Chelsea and my boy, Nate. And uh, also to uh, Ken, the editor, the certain editor for donating to us his new Logitech MX Master 3S with which he will edit this video. But let's jump right into it. Let's get you checked. So guys, uh, I know I promised you guys the full review for the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 5 after we first uh, got our hands on it at the Samsung uh, offices. And let me tell you, it's been an amazing uh, ride. I've been using the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 5 for five months now, should be uh, almost. And let me say it's been an amazing experience. Now Charles was reminding me, the first time I was Googling. I was oogling at it. I was uh, drooling. You know, it's it. I have I have had the opportunity just because of what we do here at TechEd to you know use some of the greatest uh, of devices from the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra, which was one of my most favorite phones for this year, to the iPhone uh, 14 Pro Max. So for me, the the having the z fold for me was nini different nini kitu ngine tofauti can we get to experience uh so that at least you know you can just elevate you know now the samsung galaxy z fold 5 is premium when we look at it because uh, as for kenyans we elevate premium by how much in a cost but uh for me the samsung galaxy z fold was something different for the fact that it's it's needs to too different by its own self and i remember uh, being at the launch event and I was just looking at that phone I'm saying I would really just want to use this phone and I remember when I first got my hands on it I, I was I was I was so surprised I was ready to go on my journey with the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 5 and it's been interesting let me tell you I think for me the fact that you have multiple screens on one device was a thing that to look out for especially after to me uh, there's 23 you know where else can you go up from that apart from the z fold and for me it's because of the fact that it has your multiple screens it has your uh, 6.1 inch uh, you know covered display and then when you go into your 7.8 7.9 inch display on the inside uh you know you get to enjoy all this amazing screen estate and for me that was a that was a big issue because i love multitasking and, and these guys know I am I'm doing emails, I'm doing calculations, I'm, you know, trying to do so many things at the same time, especially because, man, Buddha ni fupi, time ni chache. So I, I, I want to, uh, in as much as I can, to do a lot on this device. And, you know, um, Android phones give you the ability to split screen, which you can. And ideally, you're, only, you're able to split screen between two apps. But on the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 5, it actually allows you to split three screen so you can have three things that are running simultaneously you can be watching a video you can be taking down notes you can also be sending replying a message at the same time on this screen and that's the amazing part about the real estate of this and yo for me was the reason as to why i was looking out to use the samsung galaxy z fold 5 and boy i had expectations I had expectations from here to Timbuktu. I had expectations. And well, five months down the line, has this phone met my expectations? This is what we call our full review, but has this phone really met my expectations? And we're going to just look at the five, you know, the five boxes that we always have to tick in, uh, whenever we are looking at any device. That's camera, design, battery. Uh, you know, and all these amazing things that we look at when you look at a phone. Now, for me, when we look at camera, it was, I'd say, for lack of a better word, it was a trade down because 
the Samsung Galaxy S23 has a 200 megapixel camera and it even did a, a, a comparison here at the studio when it's unfolded the Z Fold is just slightly thinner than the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra so I wondered why Mona to get to a premium why is it? And they just give us the premium of camera i'm not saying their cameras are bad but i'm saying coming down from the s23 yeah the z fold uh, has some way to go although their cameras are good i love their, their their night mode i love the portrait especially the portrait on the z fold 5 is something i actually enjoy using it has your you know your triple camera array at the back uh it actually has five cameras your triple camera at the back it has your selfie in the front and the hidden selfie the one that's underneath the display when you open but i promise you uh the main cameras are here at the back and if you're a selfie person well the selfie or the front but coming down from the s23 the cameras were a bit of a trade down and it's one of the things i was yeah i was ready i was ready to move down from the 200 megapixel madness to 50 megapixel which the main camera actually gives you. i was ready i was ready charles i was so much <laughs> i was so much ready however in as much as i was ready uh you know i i i you know you had to trade down on some of the amazing things that the 200 megapixel main camera can actually do but I, the daily is you still do your 8, 8K, you still do your 4K uh, video recording. Uh, but other than that, the camera itself, the array itself was a trade down, but it was something I was willing. And you know, you don't buy a um, 300K device to take photos. I mean, if you want to buy a 300K device to, to take photos, then you go and buy a DSLR, go and buy your R6 just to take photos. But the photos on these are consistent. They are good. The portrait is nice it's just that it it is not the s23 ultra however other than that i was surprised by the battery life you know coming from 5000 milliampers down to about 4500 uh you know i i expected not to get all day battery life but surprisingly i did i actually do get all day battery life i charge this thing in the morning i'm i'm up uh, and ready to go throughout the whole entire day so for me, battery is not really an issue. I've actually enjoyed battery life on this device. The only thing that, uh, and, and it's, it's, it's a discussion we're having here in the studio, maybe because I use the phone more folded than unfolded, which is something we're going to talk about, I have actually managed to save its battery life. Although you still get 120 hertz on both screens. That's the improvement over the Z Fold 4. You actually get the 2K uh, the, the, the 120 hertz display on both screens on both the outer and the inner display so you get one, 120 hertz but i've managed to actually get full day battery life on the galaxy z fold 5 which is for me it's interesting i still use the my 45 watt charger that i got with the s23 to charge this thing it uses up pretty fast so i enjoy actually using this device on a daily basis you know most of the people that I actually meet and they ask me hey you know is is the display um is the display uh weak do you have to carry it like a small child because that's the notion that everyone has that isimu ni 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 brittle and come total as you become total but i've actually used this phone i've dropped it quite a number of times uh yeah folding my face at the same time but it's managed to hold up I actually like the fact that uh, Samsung gives you pretty sturdy cases. I like Samsung's original cases, uh, especially with this one because I get to get the, the, the pen. And actually, it's an upgrade over the cases that the Z Fold 4 came with. Because the Z Fold 4, the, the pen actually bulged out. But on this one, the pen fits uh, slim into the case, which actually makes it much more of an accessory. I have used the pen a lot. I actually use uh, for me the reason why i love the s23 ultra is because i get to use the pen i've been a note fan for a very long time because of the functionality of the pen so when they brought over the pen to the z fold that's what piqued my interest over the z fold now kamakawaida pen inafanya you can't use the, the the s23 pen on this you have to use the specific pen for z fold or the s pen pro but other than that it 
actually works well. I still do my documents on this. I can do my signatures. And that's part of the reason as to why we do this. Sometimes we go out on site and we need to do designs, stage designs, and we need to do a couple of things on the, on the, or, or, uh, to keep up our site. And I'm able to do it very easily on the S Pen that comes with this. And it just fits pretty smack into the case, just like that, and you're done. But one of the things that I actually surprised myself is I was looking forward to using this phone more unfolded than folded. But in the five months, I can actually count for you the number of times that I've actually used this phone unfolded. And, uh, you know, it, it, it's, a, it's a statement phone, but more than being a statement phone, it's a phone that actually gets the job done. I really wish that uh, they can optimize the UI more for Z Fold as it is, so that at least you can have more functionality. I, I, okay, I know there are some things that you get to enjoy when you're watching movies. You can watch it on, on this mode. You just open up more profit like a tablet. You're able to watch your movies. Those are some amazing features that you actually get. But more so, uh, for me, the reason why I get to use such, such a device is because of the fact that you can use this whole real estate and split three apps. But one of my trade downs is Samsung has been in the Z Fold or the foldable market for quite a while. And they have made interesting improvements in the Z Flip 5. But I can say the improvements over the Z Fold have not been as what you'd expect. And I'm saying that looking at some other companies like the OnePlus Open, the Oppo Find N3, the, uh, the, uh, the Honor Magic, uh, you know, that have made interesting uh, improvements when it comes to foldables. The fact that some of those devices you actually get to have almost like a no crease. We still have a crease, although it's reduced, but we still have a crease on the Z Fold 5. Uh, those are some of the things that I really love to see Samsung do going forward. But the Z Fold 5, is a phone that actually gets the job done. It has amazing battery life. It's an all day, like I have literally used this phone in all my case scenarios. It's an all day battery. It juices up re really fast. Uh, its cameras are good. Not as good as the S23 Ultra, but good enough. Uh, the power, you, you get the raw power. You know, you still get the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 for Samsung, which is on the S23. So for power, there's no trade down there. So I have enjoyed, I have literally enjoyed using the S, the sorry, the Z Fold 5. Am I looking forward to the S24? Yes, but I think I'm looking forward to more to the Z Fold 6 than the S24. But let's see how next year goes. As for me, what I need to me is I'm going to be able to Call of Duty for the big screen. Although I don't want shoot you on again, but I'll still do my wins on it. It's, it's a phone I've come to love. It's become part of my daily life. I mean, I still have an iPhone on the side that I get to use, but this is my daily driver. It's where my line actually goes in. Um, I'm able to do so much more. And I actually appreciate the fact that I can use this phone folded. Like I've used it more and more folded than unfolded. Well, as we normally say in the tech world, you'd rather have an accessory and use it rather than not have it. And then when you need to use it, it's not there. So for me, the Z Fold has been a phone for the ages. And uh, has it still met my expectations five months down the line? Well, you get, you get to get to use to the phone over time. But other than that, I'm still enjoying my Z Fold. It still turns the heads, still does the job. It's still the phone for the guy like me. It can also be the phone for the guy like you. But other than that, let's see what next year holds for us the foldable line. That's a wrap from us, guys. Peace out.